You've heard the hype. Get off the grid. Be energy independent. Install solar panels. But that dream washed away for Florida residents in the wake of Hurricane Irma. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Florida is hot in September. I know because I was covering the aftermath of Hurricane Andrew in the city of Homestead in 1992. You definitely need air conditioning there. And for that, you also need electricity. But I'm sorry to tell you the preppers who installed solar panels on their roofs long before the storm suffered just as much as anyone else. WFTV Channel 9, the ABC affiliate in Orlando, tells the story of Robert Tarr, who spent over $60,000 for 32 rooftop panels. But in Florida, the state code forces homeowners to connect to the local power monopoly, even if they have solar cells, a generator, or whatever. If you disconnect, you can lose your certificate of occupancy, depending on your location. Does this sound like a sweetheart deal between lawmakers and power companies, or what? If that isn't enough, affected homeowners were ordered to turn their solar units off to protect utility workers trying to restore power to the neighborhood. But if the homeowners were not connected to the grid, there would be no problem, right? Wrong. Remember, it's illegal to disconnect. Well, at least in normal times, you can always sell your self-generated power back to the electric company. That is, if you don't mind paying the one-time connection fee to hook your unit up to the grid. It can be quite expensive, depending on your system's capacity and where you live. Let's consider another side of the issue. Some people need power more than others. For example, if you use a CPAP machine for sleep apnea, you could conceivably die overnight without it. One North Miami beach woman texted Florida Power and Light trying to get quick relief for her mother and sister. Thanks to a website called risenews.net, we can quote from their digital conversation. Keep in mind, either the woman isn't very good at grammar, or she failed to proofread. Ready for the quotes? She begins, I do have a sick person in my house, and she's using oxygen. Same than my children's house. John gets the power on, but then it goes off again. So the woman texts back. The power for my mom off again. Can you please take care of that ASAP? John replies, I will def let them know. Okay, folks, there are a couple more details you need to know. John is John H. Holly, Vice President of Florida Power and Light. The woman is State Senator Daphne Campbell, who sits on the Committee on Communications, Energy, and Public Utilities. This all goes to show it's no time to be in Florida unless you have connections. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. you hear this.com.